Hey everybody, it's Dan with Pain For You. Today's topic is gonna be, why do things sometimes show up that you can see if it's TMS? You know, things like redness, swelling, inflammation, right? So, that, that question has been posed to me a number of times and I just really wanted to kinda give you my take on it. You know, as you know, I'm not a scientist or a doctor, but figured I'd share at least my belief. So, before we start, we're going to take a couple of nice deep breaths. I love coming out here in the afternoon after being inside under the indoor lighting. Breathing in the cool, fresh air. It's a little bit chilly today, as you can tell. So, Why do things show up that you can see visually if it's TMS, right? Because everybody thinks TMS is created by the brain, so why is it red? Why is it swollen? That doesn't make sense. I've got a skin issue. How is that TMS? So, a couple of things. First of all, rashes can be created by stress, right? But keep in mind, stress influences the entire system. Not just the nervous system, but the autoimmune system, the digestive systems, all those things. So sometimes, you know, TMS, in my opinion, is really akin to stress illness. And so TMS, if you're viewing it 100% from the classic, you know, Dr. Sarno first book, you know, back pain, tension myositis syndrome, oxygen deprivation, you know, distraction mechanism. I think that view is very narrow and causes a lot of people to say, that's not me, I don't have that, I got something else going on. But when you look at TMS, it's too much stress and the impact of the stress response, right? The fight or flight. Then we start to realize that the immune system and the digestive system is also impacted in addition to the nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. So why do things turn red or why do things swell when it's TMS? Keep in mind, TMS, too much stress, how does it influence the system? But also, what controls the system? The brain does. So there are cases where if the brain has been convinced that there is, let's say, an ankle that's hurting, and you are convinced that you injured it, it is very possible that the brain, in attempt to help this injured ankle, for example, might send some white blood cells or whatever typically you know, goes rushing to the site of an injury. Let's say you sprain an ankle, a real one, where you roll it, you feel it, and the brain absolutely, you see the ankle swell up and turn a little bit purple. That's a true injury, but in the case where you kind of feel like, or you've convinced yourself, I must have injured it, and you're like 100% sure that something's damaged down there, brain's listening. And so, is it possible that the brain, in believing that you've got a damaged ankle, for example, that it might create some swelling to help the quote-unquote healing process for this perceived injured ankle? I think absolutely yes. The same thing holds true for redness, you know. Um, sometimes people will break out in a rash or they'll get, you know, some, some people would try geminal neuralgia, sometimes we'll get red in the face. And it's just, I think it's all driven by fear, it's driven by the brain's perception of, oh my god, there's a major problem. And, uh, you know, if the nerves are firing in such a way that it kind of feels like burning. Well, what happens when you burn? You turn red. Increase blood flow to the area as a protective me mechanism, right? So, why do things sometimes, why are things sometimes visible when it's really just TMS, too much stress that's causing it? I, I think it has to do with the perception of the brain. And so the brain's perception of what's going on is really important. So again, the brain controls everything. The brain controls the entire system. 
So that's pretty much why I think we can sometimes see a difference. Now look, I'm not talking about rheumatoid arthritis where there's actual, you know, inflammation of the joints and, you know, the immune system attacking the joints. And, you know, we'll speak about that briefly, but rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune problem, right? And Sarno says, this is not TMS. No, it is not. However, could it take hold and could our immune system start to get out of balance and run into a disorder like rheumatoid arthritis from what? Too much stress. Well, stress suppresses the immune system. Absolutely can happen. My example is my brother. He and his wife have the same exact lifestyle, whether it be food, work, general stress, uh, alcohol, you know, overall habits. Um, she's like one of these happy all the time people and he's not he's he's a little bit more miserable so the way each of them handle stress is different um, he's had a lifetime of you know back spasms over the years he knows about tms but from the standpoint of the rheumatoid arthritis which he's diagnosed with perhaps that took hold in him because of his the way he perceives and handles stress compared to her, she's always happy, you know? Very non-scientific, just one example in my family of the difference that uh, stress can make to the immune system and how things like RA can take hold in a person. Um, but I, I hope this helped you understand why sometimes like a joint or an ankle or something can swell up, even though the cause is TMS, even though the pain is there because of some activity in the brain, this neural circuit type of pain. So I believe that's what's going on. I don't know if that helps anybody here. Uh, hopefully some of you have had this question before and this gives you an understanding. The whole point about TMS is it is not based on true tissue damage, despite there being many abnormalities in our bodies. Um, these are normal abnormalities. But again, if the brain perceives that there's a problem, it's going to create pain. And in some cases, perhaps some redness and swelling. You know, everybody talks about inflammation. And unless you can see the swelling or feel it, it feels puffy or warm to touch. Um, you know, everybody's like, oh, the inflammation in my back is causing the problems. Well, how do you know if you're there's inflammation around your spine. Is that visible on MRI? Did the doctors actually tell you that they can see it and here's the proof? Is it in blood tests? Or is it just this general perception that when there's pain, there's inflammation? I'm not a huge believer in that and I'm not convinced inflammation causes pain. Sometimes, as I was discussing earlier, why do things swell up? Inflammation can be there to help heal a perceived injury or a real injury for that matter. So anyway, that's why in my opinion, these are the dots that I'm connecting based on my understanding of how things work as to why sometimes our symptoms appear with something that's visual, like uh, redness or swelling. So hopefully that helps. Just wanted to show you guys, I'm sitting next to this nice little Buddha squirrel here. So Buddha squirrel says hello. I will wish you guys a very happy Tuesday. Love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.